Okay, Jamise, we are all ready, I think, for a weekend. We've got some hot weather. We've got some rain to talk about. We've also got a cold front. So this weekend's highs, 91 and 87 Saturday and Sunday. That a little different than last weekend when we had 80s, then 70s. So again, 90s and then 80s this weekend with some rain to talk about. Now, right now, radar looking for wet weather in central North Carolina. Not a whole lot out there. There's some clouds that look like they're going to rain. There might even be a sprinkle east of I-95. But for the most part, we are dry right now with temperatures in the 80s. I stress right now because we are keeping an eye on some showers and thunderstorms to our southwest. You can see it's not a huge wall of water. These storms are headed for us, but they're not going to get all of us. It's not going to rain all night. But we will have to dodge a few downpours and thunderstorms as we head into tonight. Good news is the severe weather threat has backed off for tonight and for tomorrow. The bad news is, I mean, you walk outside, it doesn't feel cooler. It doesn't look like it's going to be dry. I mean, look at our dew point temperature again today, like yesterday, up there in the steamy zone. As we all know, the higher the dew point is, the higher our humidity is. So here's what's in store for tonight and overnight. Temperatures, which were in the 80s today, will hold there for the next few hours, dropping down to about 80 at 10, then through the 70s overnight. We've gotten used to that, not cooling off at night. So that's what we're going to have tonight. As for rain, dry the next couple of hours. But then after about 9 and 10 o'clock, you can see we're going to have those passing showers and thunderstorms. They'll finally move out about 2 a.m. So the rain chance, 20, 30, maybe 40%. It's not 80 or 90 percent, so some of us are going to wind up just with dry weather tonight, but all of us will continue to be warm and humid. High pressure, which moved away today, allowed the clouds and the rain to come in, but we've still got that really warm, humid flow. That's going to continue overnight and for tomorrow. It's going to continue until this cold front in the Midwest gets here late Saturday into Sunday. That'll give us a little bit of relief from the heat and the humidity. So here's how we get through the weekend. First, we'll pick it up late tonight. Again, some scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through. They'll start to move out about 2, 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. So it's not something we'll have to deal with or worry about all the overnight. Then Saturday morning starts off with some clouds, but we lose a lot of the clouds as we get into the afternoon. So more sunshine. That's going to allow us to get hotter and back into the low 90s. Then here comes the front. It's not a strong front. Notice it's kind of coming in more from the north than from the west. That tells us that it's a weaker front. But as it moves through, you can see we'll have a couple scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as we head into Saturday afternoon. But by 7 o'clock Saturday night, the front on its way pushing through. We'll start to dry out, and then we get into Sunday with sunny skies, slightly cooler temperatures, and lower humidity. I definitely like Sunday as the pick day of the weekend if you're going to do stuff outside. And for tomorrow, when the front comes through and we have that small chance of rain, we do not have a threat of severe weather. The threat on Saturday will stay up into parts of Virginia. And back to the tropics, the news today is that Cristobal is once again a tropical storm and it did it it re-strengthened while still over land as you can see tonight at five o'clock it is on the verge of re-emerging into the gulf of mexico where it will strengthen get more organized and head for the coast of louisiana but tonight winds are 40 miles per hour and it's moving remember it was stationary it's moving north at 13. so again continuing to strengthen as this weekend it'll spend moving across the gulf of mexico possibly making landfall in louisiana sometime on sunday night our impacts non-existent this weekend maybe some leftover rain next week i'll show you that in a second so tomorrow it's 91. it's going to be hot again please take care of yourself if you're going to be out protesting if you're going to be out enjoying the weather it's going to be sunny and it's going to be hot, so that could be dangerous. Take care of yourself. There is the cold front Saturday night into Sunday. We've got temperatures that are cool a little bit into the upper 80s. Then we've got mid 80s with dry weather Monday and Tuesday. Then we get into next week. We've got some leftover moisture. We've got a cold front. We've got rain chances returning Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But our temperatures, not in the 90s on your 10-day forecast. We settle in and get used to the 80s most of next week.